Simon Hackett is 36, successful and hungry for more. As technical director of communications companies Internode and Agile, he surfed the wave of IT expansion right over the top of the recent tech wreck and he's not finished yet. I started in the business by graduating from the University of Adelaide. I got a maths and science degree in the University of Adelaide in the late 80s. And after a few years of writing industrial machine tool control software, of all things, making computers work in factories, I went back and took up a job at the University of Adelaide in their communication section, in their networking division. And I happened to be fortunate. I was there at just the same time that the universities decided that they needed to get onto this thing called the internet. A few things happened from there. I wound up being involved with a company in the US and we did some technology demonstrations in the US and I learnt more about the internet by the fortunate experience of going over there and talking to people Hello. in Silicon Valley. Came back to Australia and decided that I'd better get on with this bee in my bonnet I had about starting a company. And so in May 1991, um, I co-founded a company called Internode. Started that company, Internode, with the aim of selling and supporting computer networking software. Relatively high-end software, these days pretty esoteric sounding stuff for computers you can no longer buy from a company called Digital Equipment Corporation. That was all working, but really my passion was in building internet things. So in the midst of all of that in the mid-90s, having seen some other internet service providers start up in this country, I thought, well, time to do it myself. And we turned Internode into an internet service provider. While happy with Internode's success, Simon was still on the lookout for opportunities. Deregulation of the telecommunications industry four years ago allowed him to set up Agile Communications and with it a system which in the southeastern parts of the state has meant cheaper phone calls and internet access, all fitting in comfortably with the founder's philosophy. Starting your own business is an interesting situation and in some ways I think it's almost a form of madness that a subset of the population have. A drive to actually start and run a company requires a whole lot of different sort of incentives and different sorts of reasoning behind it than it does to, to work for a company or, or to do something similar. So I kind of liken it to a peculiar sort of madness. I always had a bee in my bonnet about wanting my own company. And I think the driver for that was about wanting an avenue for creativity. We're still very much driven by doing a good job. The, the best kicks we get as a company, all of our staff, is getting electronic mail from our customers telling us we did a good job. We are succeeding in paying the bills. We are doing very well, which is a good reward for doing a good job. But we've always built the company on trying to do a great job first and so far correctly presuming that the business will actually flow from that. In terms of the future, we actually simply intend to do more of it. I haven't nearly stopped having fun yet. It's one of the nice things about the industry I find myself in. There's a lot more left to do. Although we've come a long way, I can think of a lot more things to do, a lot more places to take us. So I'm going to keep doing that while it's fun to do it.